Top 10 Ghosts Caught on Camera Flipping Out A Reddit user says that his brother was alone at their mom's house when the lights in the hallway began to mysteriously turn on and off. He pulled out his camera and began filming. Okay, so it's doing it again. That switch down there is on. You see it past my shaking. This one is on, okay? It's mom. See what I mean? It's f***ing. You can hear it. You f***ing. Mom, 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 nope, nope. The light seems to turn on and off for no reason. But by far the weirdest thing is that when he pans over to the light switch, you can actually see that it's moving on its own. Mom, 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 nope, nope. Currently, this video is being hotly debated on Reddit. Some claim it's a hoax, but many others believe that the video is 100% legit. One user even analyzed the video in an attempt to prove that it's real. But you can check out the R Paranormal subreddit to follow the continuing controversy over this bizarre clip. Helping Hand. Aubrey Beatrice was acting in a student film in her high school auditorium. She was meant to knock on the door, then shove it open wide with one push. Hey, go. go. Knock, 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 go. <laughs> now, let's break down what actually happens in the video. Aubrey knocks, then attempts to shove the door open, but it only opens slightly. Knock, 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 go. Then the door just seems to open the rest of the way all on its own. You can see Aubrey reach to push the door open, but she finds that it's already open wide. <laughs> Aubrey seems legitimately confused and a little creeped out. But when Aubrey Beatrice posted the video on her Twitter, viewers began to analyze the video. And then things got even stranger. It almost looks as if someone is hiding in the background just inside the door. Someone who ducks back out of sight when the door opens. But Aubrey says there was no one else in that room with her. So just who or what is this? You decide. Office Visitor In this next clip, the uploader claims that the video was taken from footage on an in-office CCTV system. Something that looks almost like a shadowy silhouette of a child seems to walk through the office. Now, I couldn't find the original source of this video, so, real or fake, I leave it to you to decide. Frozen with Fear Years ago, Tyler Rowe worked in a Kroger grocery store in Powell, Tennessee. He claims that every morning at exactly 9.02 a.m., the staff witnessed this at the warehouse freezer door. Freezers, freezers better not rest. <laughs> Here comes. Hey! Is there a light? Huh? Is there a light in here? Light in here. And there's nothing in here. There's nothing, nobody, anything. It's just open. Tyler says that it was every morning like clockwork. At 9.02 a.m., there was banging on the warehouse freezer, and then the door would swing open on its own. But there was no one inside. Here comes. So two months ago, someone named Emily claimed in the video's comments that she currently worked at the same Kroger grocery store and that the strange occurrence still happened, even though the store had recently replaced the freezer door. She says that the freezer door still slams open and closed all on its own. The Soul on the Stairs Indonesian actress Leah Weod was filming an Insta story with a friend. 
when she claimed she caught something very frightening in the background. Kita lagi mau karaoke, eh karaoke, karate, ya Allah, ya Allah, di Marga Satwa. Wow, wow. Sumpah demi Allah, itu ada pocong, sumpah demi Allah, sumpah demi Allah, yakin, yakin, sumpah di tadi di situ, demi Allah, demi Allah, demi Allah, demi Allah. lihat, lihat. Leah claims that she sees a pochong on the stairs behind her. A pochong is basically an Indonesian ghost that is said to be a soul still wrapped in its white burial shroud. Leah Weo's reaction seems very believable. She actually does seem shocked. But it also bears mentioning that Leah has been an actress for over 20 years. So is Leah's sighting real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Child's Play Nuke's top five viewer, Jamie Boggs, works at a Head Start preschool in Montana. Late one night, one of the school's motion-activated CCTV cameras caught something very bizarre. Now, keep in mind that this is an inside playroom, so there's no wind to blow the tricycle across the floor. Also, this was late at night, the school was closed, and no one was in the building. And just my opinion, but that little flip over at the end just makes the clip that much creepier. Night Shift The poster of this next video says that he's a security guard at a college in San Francisco. He says that the ghost of a girl who took her own life at the school is said to walk the building's hallways. One night, after hearing some strange noises down one corridor, he begins to film and catches something absolutely chilling. So is this a real ghost caught by the security guard at a haunted college? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. What the <laughs> Raising the roof. Sean Wells began hearing very strange noises from his attic late at night. At first he thought it might just be the wind, but now he's not so sure. Okay, everybody. We're in my closet, and I'm going to do the experiment of trying to get this on tape. Uh, my attic, it's right there. Uh, it always makes noise. It rattles all the time at night. I'm not sure if it's the suction of the wind in the attic or whatever it is, but I'm going to try to get this on film when I'm sleeping. So It is around... One o'clock in the morning, so.
Uh, that doesn't seem like when to me, but who knows? Anyway, after this, Sean decided to just nail his attic door shut. An eerie audience. The Australian rock band Wildlands decided to film their music video in the deserted mining town of Glen Davis. Obviously, the barren and decaying little town provided a very interesting backdrop for their video. The whole place felt very eerie. It actually felt like a ghost town. But the town has a dark past. Many workers lost their lives in the Glen Davis mines. And in the 1950s, a school for priests was established in the small village. As the story goes, one of the priests took his own life very near the spot where the band is filming. As Wildlands and the crew film their video, they catch something chilling in the background. It looks as if a man dressed in the robes of a priest is watching them from nearby. When I shot it, there was no one there. I had people beside me looking the same way that I was looking. No one was there. Totally unexplained. When they watched the film back, the band and the crew were shocked by what they saw. I mean, besides the crew, there was nobody, you know, for kilometres around the place. There was just nobody anywhere. There was no face on the figure and the face was slightly disjointed from the body. So did the crew, along with the band Wildlands, actually catch the ghost of a priest in their video? Let me know what you think. Flicker. I'm a little uncertain on the source of this clip, but judging by the blurred faces and voice alterations, it looks like it was originally broadcast on Japanese TV. Since Japan has some very strict privacy laws, faces are often blurred on television if 100% documented consent can't be obtained. So, two guys in a room where one of them flips on a light, seemingly to show his friend his new guitar. But the guy filming says that he thinks he saw something and begins panning the room, looking for anything strange. As the light flickers on, there's something standing in the corner. Something that quickly disappears in the light. So is this a ghost caught on camera? Is it just a strange shadow? Or is it all a hoax? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you see something that you think would be great for the top five, or you think you've caught something spooky yourself, drop me a line at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Also, well, come on, be a pal and follow me on Twitter at nukestop5. See you next week.